Hi, and welcome to the latest Firehouse Quick Chat. I'm Peter Matthews, editor of Firehouse, and today we're really excited to have Tom Stern from eDispatches on to talk a little bit about the eDispatches platform, but also to learn a little bit more about uh, the eDispatches business. It's actually a really cool story. Uh, we've become very good friends with Tom and the entire staff there over the last few years. So, Tom, thanks for joining us, and, and we really appreciate you jumping on today. And, and you know, your story is very unique, and, and you come from the fire service background, which we love. So, tell us a little bit about your time in the fire service and, uh, you know, and, and what it is that you do. All right. Yeah. I, um, I've been a firefighter for about 20 years now, more than 20 years. Um, and, uh, volunteer, you know, for Northern New Jersey, um, smallish, you know, two departments cause I moved, but <clears throat> smallish, uh, smallish, you know, maybe 150, 200 calls a year. Um, but I'm very active. I'm, I've held every rank from a probationary firefighter. And then I worked my all, all the way up through chief, and uh, now I'm back at firefighter, which I think uh, personally um, is one of my favorite positions because uh, it, it still keeps me very involved and I'm very active in it. I do about, I probably hit 80 calls a year because I'm uh, fortunate okay. to work in town so I can make all those alarms that, uh, that, that the department has every day, uh, you know, throughout the year. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So tell us a little bit about e-dispatches. I mean, you know, so, so it's a firefighter and it's a firefighter business. So can you tell us about how you started e-dispatches? Yeah, sure. It's kind of a funny story. I, uh, um, uh, you know, one day I was uh, in the grocery store, pushing my shopping cart, picking up the peas, carrots, broccoli, you know, all that good stuff. Spent about 45 minutes in there, went to the checkout, pushed my cart outside. And when I got outside, what's there, but my own guys with the engine and the rescue. And, uh, I was like, Hey guys, what's going on? They're like, yeah, thanks for showing up, Tom. Turns out there was a smoke condition in uh, one of the units attached to the grocery store. And, uh, oh, wow. so that, yeah, so they, uh, you know, I mean, it wasn't a big incident, but you know, the point was that I was 300, 400 feet maybe from the incident. And I had no clue because, okay. you know, my pager at the time, it didn't go off inside, you know? Okay. Um, so I, uh, I, I thought to myself, well, you know, first of all, they gave me a good ribbing as, as the firehouse does. Um, but I, uh, I thought to myself, there's, there's gotta be a better way, you know, to do that. And, and, uh, so I took my interest in computers. I took my interest in radios and, um, uh, fire service, obviously cobbled together something and, um, was able to get myself some notifications over the internet, essentially, you know, after that point, um, I would get a text message uh, when I, whenever our fire company got an alarm. So I could call into a phone number and listen to that recording. So at that point, the reliability of the text message uh, getting, or the, the cell phone service to get the text message was, was better than the pagers? Uh, yeah, yeah, because I was able to set up some you know, equipment that had a good signal all the time. Okay. And it did its job, and then it sent me a text message wherever I was. So, yeah. Wow. So that, that's the creation of, of e-dispatches though. That was the very early versions, yeah. That's great, that's great. So so for the folks who aren't aware of e-dispatches, can you tell us some of the services you provide? And I mean, I, I know it's a full service suite, but can you kind of go through some of those points today? Yeah, so, you know, fr from the beginning, as I said, you know, I used to get a text message and call into a phone number. So, you know, that was really the, the genesis of e-dispatches, the very first versions. Um, you know, now we're, you know, Many years later, we're full feature, um, uh, you know, extensive app. Uh, the, the, most of the interaction with e-dispatches uh, that the firefighters and first responders would use uh, is through the mobile apps, you know, on the Android and iOS side. And uh, th through that app, basically, they're going to be able to receive, you know, the audio alerts so they can hear, you know, when they get a call, the, the okay. dispatcher's voice is sent right to their app and their phone, um, as well as uh, a CAD messages. Um, so a lot of these newer, these dispatch agencies now, um, you know, are sending out cat alerts to, to firefighters, but those uh, definitely have some, um, th those messages are sent and they're not really great. So we offer a, a cat relay service that uh, will take those uh, messages sent from the dispatch agency, we'll reformat them so they're much more usable and push those out to the first responders. So that way they can have uh, response features and they can have mapping features and uh, it's very easy to read as far as what what's going on with that particular incident. Okay. And, and so what about some of the other services, uh, you know, especially like in a, in a paid on call or a volunteer or, you know, even a, 
uh, a department where you know you're responding from home do you provide some of those um, uh, notification systems so that your your users can notify the other crews that they're en route to the station yeah yeah there's a couple of you know uh, so those are our primary notification services that i described but yeah we we also have um you know that there's a feature called availability where uh, we you know that's typically used in um uh, well, it could be used for anything, but one example would be, let's say there's a, a you know, a storm coming through your uh, response area okay. and you're a chief officer or, you know, some type of incident commander or potential incident commander, you can send out a message through the mobile app to all, to all your guys and say, Hey, who's around. So for example, in a volunteer uh, department like mine, you know, it's, it's sometimes questionable as who's to actually around during a day call. So if I know that there's going to be a, a windstorm coming through, I might send out a push to say, hey, guys, who is in town today? And then they can respond within the app and say, hey, you know, I'm around today. And, you know, great. So then I know as, a, yeah. as an incident commander that, you know, there's <clears throat> five or 10 guys around. So good. I'm covered. Okay. And, and so that's all integrated. So again, I mean, is that, is that something that's also available at the station as well as, as through the app on the phone? Yeah, yeah, we have okay. um, the you know the, we one of the things that the customers or you know that that e dispatches subscribers could put in the station is uh, yeah boards to tell you who's uh, coming. Well, that actually that you know makes me think of the uh, response feature. So in addition to uh, those features, when there is an alarm that gets pushed to the mobile apps, you can respond right on there saying you're coming or not, and then. Okay. Um, you know, everybody responding to that incident will have situational awareness as to who's coming. And yes, in the stations as well, we'll have, uh, we can have sign boards that, you know, you glance up at it and you look and you say, oh, good, Bob and Joe are coming. So I've got the crew covered or, yeah. you know, um, I need to retone this because there's, you know, I, d I don't have the guys I need for this call. So Tom, as a chief officer, I mean, this type of technology has to really help you, uh, you know, going back 10 years ago, when, when that type of technology was not available at your fingertips, as you're driving to the scene in the chief's car, you don't know if engine one's going to get out or if engine two's going to get out. And also, you know, understanding the members and, and, and their, you know, what they can do, their, their abilities and skills, you know, if you have a crew coming that that'll work or if, if you don't, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, there's obviously there's a bunch of different levels of fire departments that use our service every from everywhere from big cities to mm -hmm. small volunteer outfits. So I, I can really sympathize with the volunteer level. And yeah, absolutely. When I was chief, you know, it, it was great to be able to, to, you know, pull up the e dispatches app and see, oh, I, I you know, for this for this call, I got I got I know I'm going to have engine one and engine two staffed, you know, uh, very quickly. So great. We're going to have an initial tack, you know, in, in, in a reasonable amount of time, or, uh, you know, that time has gone by and, and I'm looking at the list and I'm like, uh Oh, I don't have the crews I need. Let me call out the mutual aids right away. And so I'm saving, you know, what, 60, 90 seconds of time. And that may not sound a lot, a lot to the lay person, but we as firefighters know that's a lot of time. And so I've been able to, you know, I myself have been able to use the e dispatch system as a chief and affect a difference in the way that the uh, you know incident got resolved. That's great. That's that's very cool. And, and again, I'm I'm glad again that firefighter to business connection. Yeah. And, and and to step onto that or to build on that, I'm sorry. Is e dispatches? You know, we've got to know your staff over the years. You know, at the different events and whatnot. And yeah. And and so you have uh, a lot of firefighters on your staff. Um, and and again, I think you know one of the things about e dispatches is you're known to be very customer friendly. Uh, so so what would you like? You know. The viewers of today's uh, quick chat video to know about the folks who work at e dispatches. Yeah, um, that, that's a great point. Um, there, you know, there, there's we have about twenty or thirty percent. I forget the math, but you know, we, about thirty percent of our staff are firefighters, just like myself. Okay. Um, both career and volunteer, you know, and, and uh, so we have a we already have a good mix. And you know, the when when you if you were to call in and, and need support, um, then you're going to, there's a chance you're going to speak to a firefighter. So he's going to be able to understand and sympathize exactly with the position you're in. And, you know, having knowledge of the e-dispatches systems, he'll be able to resolve your problem, you know, in no time um, or any of the support staff. I don't mean to single out, um, you know, any one guy in the support staff, but that that's one of my, you know, building a business, you're never sure how it's going to go when you start it. Right. And one of my favorite, favorite things about um, e-dispatches is the people we have, uh, at, at the whole, at, within the entire company, all of them are, are great people. They're uh, uh, top notch. Um, and, you know, that the support staff, uh, you know, kudos they get 
um, and praise and what I hear back from the, the good work they do. It's just, you know, that's, I think, one of the shining stars of e-dispatches service is the, the support and assistance we can give to uh, our customers once, if they should have a problem or, or need a little more guidance. That's great. And so how can, how can folks reach out to uh, learn about the service? And then also you, you have a, a free trial service, correct? Uh, yeah, yeah, right. Uh, we have a free trial. Um, it makes it, you know, free trial, no obligation um, trial. We, we, we think the service is that good that if you, if you bring it into your, you know, organization, it's going to be a no brainer. You're going to love it and you're going to use it. Um, okay. And yeah, that people can reach out to us, of course, at www.edispatches.com. And our phone number is 973-453-5810. But, you know, everything, you know, on the website is there's plenty of information. Um, but feel free to call in and the salespeople will also walk you through everything and, and give you a, you know, a- answer your questions. Because there can be a lot, because we offer a lot, it's sometimes hard to absorb it all. And the salespeople can really help you focus on what you're looking for um, and, and what will solve your, you know, your, your particular uh, hardships or, you know, in, inconsistencies or problems at the firehouse. Okay. Well, Tom, I, you know, thanks for joining us. It's really great to learn about e-dispatches and all that you do. And, and for the folks who haven't had a chance to meet you at one of the trade shows, uh, you know, definitely stop by, by the e-dispatches booth when you're out. It's, it's a great group of people, um, but the service is great. And again, coming from that fire service background, that really, um, you know, that, that's, that's a good testament to the type of service that you provide. So, so thank you for sharing your story today. We appreciate it. Uh, Pete, I enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for uh, giving me the opportunity to speak to you guys. Thank you. Yep.